6G revolution begins, researchers achieve record-breaking data speeds. Suida, Japan, the road to 6G wireless networks just got a little smoother. Scientists have made a significant leap forward in terahertz technology, potentially revolutionizing how we communicate in the future. An international team has developed a tiny silicon device that could double the capacity of wireless networks, bringing us closer to the promise of 6G and beyond. Imagine a world where you could download an entire season of your favorite show in seconds or where virtual reality feels as real as, well, reality. This is what scientists believe terahertz technology can potentially bring to the world. Their work is published in the journal Laser and Photonics Review. This tiny marvel, a silicon chip smaller than a grain of rice, operates in a part of the electromagnetic spectrum that most of us have never heard of, the terahertz range. Think of the electromagnetic spectrum as a vast highway of information. We're currently cruising along in the relatively slow lanes of 4G and 5G. Terahertz technology? That's the express lane, promising speeds that make our current networks look like horse-drawn carriages in comparison. Terahertz waves occupy a sweet spot in the electromagnetic spectrum between microwaves and infrared light. They've long been seen as a promising frontier for wireless communication because they can carry vast amounts of data. However, harnessing this potential has been challenging due to technical limitations. The researcher's new device, called a polarization multiplexer, tackles one of the key hurdles in terahertz communication, efficiently managing different polarizations of terahertz waves. Polarization refers to the orientation of the wave's oscillation. By cleverly manipulating these polarizations, the team has essentially created a traffic control system for terahertz waves, allowing more data to be transmitted simultaneously. If that sounds like technobabble, think of it as a traffic cop for data, able to direct twice as much information down the same road without causing a jam, our proposed polarization multiplexer will allow multiple data streams to be transmitted simultaneously over the same frequency band, effectively doubling the data capacity, explains lead researcher Professor Withawat Withayacham Nankel from the University of Adelaide, in a statement. At the heart of this innovation is a compact silicon chip measuring just a few millimeters across. Despite its small size, this chip can separate and combine terahertz waves with different polarizations with remarkable efficiency. It's like having a tiny, incredibly precise sorting machine for light waves. To create this device, the researchers used a 250 micrometer thick silicon wafer with very high electrical resistance. They employed a technique called deep reactive ion etching to carve intricate patterns into the silicon. These patterns, consisting of carefully designed holes and structures, form what's known as an effective medium, a material that interacts with terahertz waves in specific ways. The team then subjected their device to a battery of tests using specialized equipment. They used a vector network analyzer with extension modules capable of generating and detecting terahertz waves in the 220 to 330 gigahertz range with minimal signal loss. This allowed them to measure how well the device could handle different polarizations of terahertz waves across a wide range of frequencies. This large relative bandwidth is a record for any integrated multiplexers found in any frequency range. If it were to be scaled to the center frequency of the optical communications bands, such a bandwidth could cover all the optical communications bands. In their experiments, the researchers demonstrated that their device could effectively separate and combine two different polarizations of terahertz waves with high efficiency. The device showed an average signal loss of only about 1 decibel, a remarkably low figure that indicates very little energy is wasted in the process. Even more impressively, the device maintained a polarization extinction ratio, a measure of how well it can distinguish between different polarizations, of over 20 decibels across its operating range. This is crucial for ensuring that data transmitted on different polarizations doesn't interfere with each other. To put the potential of this technology into perspective, the researchers conducted several real world tests. In one demonstration, they used their device to transmit two separate high definition video streams simultaneously over a terahertz link. This showcases the technology's ability to handle multiple data streams at once, effectively doubling the amount of information that can be sent over a single channel. But the team didn't stop there. In more advanced tests, they pushed the limits of data transmission speed. Using a technique called on-off keying, they achieved error-free data rates of up to 64 gigabits per second. 
When they employed a more complex modulation scheme, 16 QAM, they reached staggering data rates of up to 190 gigabits per second. That's roughly equivalent to downloading 24 gigabytes, or about six high-definition movies, in a single second. It's a staggering leap from current wireless technologies. Still, the researchers say it's not just about speed. This device is also incredibly versatile. This innovation not only enhances the efficiency of terahertz communication systems but also paves the way for more robust and reliable high-speed wireless networks, adds Dr. Wei Jiegao, a postdoctoral researcher at Osaka University and co-author of the study The Implications of This Technology Stretch Far Beyond Faster Netflix Downloads. We're talking about advancements that could revolutionize augmented reality, enable seamless remote surgery, or create virtual worlds so immersive you might forget they're not real. The best part? This isn't some far-off dream. We anticipate that within the next one to two years, researchers will begin to explore new applications and refine the technology, says Professor Masayuki Fujita of Osaka University. So, while you might not find a terahertz chip in your next smartphone upgrade, don't be surprised if, in the not-too-distant future, you're streaming holographic video calls or controlling smart devices with your mind. The terahertz revolution is coming, and it's bringing a future that's faster, more connected, and more exciting than we ever imagined.